one. Dia angles the ball forward to the left-hand side. Yanoulis is going to catch up with this one. He's level with the Stoke penalty area. Rolls it towards the edge of the area now. And it's Vrancic who manages to squeeze it through somehow to Emi Buendia. Across the Puki, who turns it goalwards. Then Buendia slices it across the face of goal. Aaron's back into the six-yard box. There's a real scramble here. And Stoke have somehow smuggled it behind. And it's a Norwich <laughs> corner. So nil nil after eight minutes could easily be one one though chances at either end here's Vrancic wide to the right hand side and Max Ahrens is coming forward Ahrens has got Campbell making an intelligent run he's level with the penalty area gives it back to Ahrens another crossing opportunity here Ahrens does cross it job oh, it's behind skip it's fallen for Yanoulis in the penalty area Yanoulis is being tightly marked but he's got a, a decent touch there to get it back to skip on the left hand side now it's Vrancic 25 yards from goal on to Emi Buendia Lots of Stoke defenders back. Buendia brings it towards the corner of the penalty area and then changes the angle. He picks it out, Aaron's on the edge of the box. Aaron's tries to take his man on. He's found Puki from the angle. Puki across the face of goal and wide. Yanoulis uh, steaming forward on the left-hand side. He's the Norwich fullback, but he's been in front of us in the attacking half of the pitch for most of the game so far. They've gone wide right this time, though, and it's Aarons who will cross into the penalty area. Vrancic on the volley straight at Angus Gunn. That would have been a lovely goal. And Norwich will just uh, have to try and keep control of the game here on halfway with Skip. And we'll find Gibson. And uh, Stoker pressed up and forced Norwich to go back to Tim Krull. Who, uh, well, he's, he's had such a good season, Tim Crawley. I know he was at fault for Swansea's opening goal the other night, but he, he's had a, a fine season as Crawley, and he's got the ball back again now. Passes it out short to Gibson. Gibson on to skip. Norwich playing their way out of yeah. a, a bit of danger there, but calmly done. <laughs> I think they were a lot more calm than I was yeah, well, watching it. it. It's, <laughs> it's never comfortable to watch. Uh, skip gets it up towards Puki. Oh, but you see the belief and the confidence within them to take the ball in these tight areas, and and trust the goalkeeper going back across his six-yard box and really well played and look what it's look got this, it's got Norwich up the field with Campwell who takes it into the area and now Vrancic sets it up for Campwell to score that is a fine goal from Norwich City and that all started with the goalkeeper Tim Krull playing the ball out Norwich a flowing move up the field it was worked into the path of Todd Campwell who finishes superbly Norwich's long wait for a goal is over they've only needed a quarter of an hour to score against Stoke Campwell does it and it's Norwich City 1 Stoke 0 The goal scorer for Norwich City, number 14, Todd Campwell. Here's Morgan Fox, the left back, playing it forward to Powell. High, aimed towards the Norwich penalty area. Fletcher is there, he's headed on to Clark, who works it back towards Fletcher with the header, he's offside. He heads it into the net, but the flag immediately goes up. But you know, Stephen Fletcher, a header from six yards, you don't want to give him too many opportunities like no, that. No, not at all. Oh, now Buendia has closed down a clearance from Fox and it's bouncing for him now, Buendia in the penalty area across to Puki, yes, that has to be for Puki, he doesn't miss those a couple of yards out, a tap in and that was all down to the industry of Emi Buendia Morgan Fox went to clear the ball away Buendia charged it down and then had the presence of mind to control the ball and lay it across for Puki who almost did walk it into the net Norwich have been accused of trying to walk the ball into the net in recent weeks, they've just done it there in the final minute of the first half it's Norwich City 2, Stoke nil. And Timu Puki's back among the goal. The goal scorer for Norwich City, number 22, Timu Puki. And Krull doesn't mess about with it this time, launches the ball upfield. Uh, skip goes in for the challenge with Joe Allen, wins it. And then that's a poor ball back there from McLean. He's given it straight to Fletcher, who's one-on-one -on -one with uh, Krull. Tries to go round him, squeezes the shot goalwards, and Hanley clears it off the line. And that's a corner. My goodness me, Kenny McLean <laughs> played Norwich into real trouble there.
And now the ball played. Oh, what's going on there? Norwich have played the ball straight into trouble. And it's a goal for Stoke. That is a terrible goal to give away. The ball played across the edge of their own penalty area straight to Nick Powell, who uh, was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and just rolled it into the net. What a terrible, terrible goal to give away. And with an hour on the clock, it's Norwich 2, Stoke 1, and Stoke are back in it. That is a sloppy goal. Buendia has picked out Campwell on the right-hand side. Campwell onto Yanulis, who's in the Stoke penalty area this time. Round the back, cuts it back for Buendia! Three goals for Norwich City! <laughs> Yanulis, well, he was at fault for the Stoke goal a minute ago, and now he's created one for Norwich City. He cuts it back to Buendia. Buendia is back in the Norwich team and back with a goal. Their two-goal advantage is restored. And for the first time since they beat Manchester City in the Premier League, Norwich City have scored three goals in a game at Carroll Road. It's Norwich 3, Stoke 1. The goal scorer for Norwich City, number 17, Emmy Buendia. Uh, Krull playing a short back pass out there to Hanley. He's got it up to Rook. And now Aaron's on the right-hand side, plays it forward early. Uh, we've got Puki and Cantwell setting off after it. Header down from Suter, picked up though by Puki. Right edge of the penalty area, into the path of Todd Cantwell, who's on the corner of the box. Cantwell gets himself into a central position. Uh, holds off one challenge. Releases Aarons on the right-hand side. Aarons brings the ball carefully into the penalty area. Sets up Buendia, who's been dragged down. Penalty for Norwich City. Hemi Buendia has got a goal on his return. He set up a goal, and now he's won a penalty, and he's still, he's going to take it. He's told Team Puki where to go. Puki, Puki came over as if he wanted to take it, but it's going to be Buendia's penalty, I think. No, he's now given it to Puki. Timu Puki, if he scores this, uh, you'd think it would be game over. Puki with a slow run-up, takes the penalty, scores! Gun goes the wrong way, and the goals are flowing again for Norwich City. After four games without a goal, they've got four in one here at Carrow Road this afternoon. Puki's got two of them, and with 11 minutes to go, it is Norwich City four, Stoke City one. Yeah, great penalty from Puki, great composure. Sends Angus gone the wrong way, and as you say, <laughs> surely that's three points for Norwich, and they thoroughly deserve it. The goal scorer for Norwich City, number 22, Timu Puki.